Hello ladies and gentlemen. Today's webinar is on the topic variables. Now in research methodology, one of the most difficult or little complicated to understand is a topic called variables. Now what do you mean by variables? I'm trying to, in today's webinar, we'll be trying to understand about variables in a very simpleton fashion, a very simpler fashion. And we'll also explain that with the help of one or two examples. So we'll start today's uh, session. Now, variable from the word itself, it's understood some, as something that varies, something that changes. Now, in research methodology, we have two types of variables. One is dependent variable and the other one is independent variable. Now, uh, let's take a let's try to understand this with the help of an example. Now, just let's take the statement like eating ice creams makes you fall sick. So the statement that I'm going to, that I'm making is whenever you eat an ice cream, you fall sick or eating ice creams makes you fall sick. Now, in this particular scenario, there are two key terms, eating ice creams and falling sick. Now, falling sick is dependent on eating ice cream. In one sense, rather we'll, we would rather make it like this. Eating ice cream is the independent variable. Now, it's not dependent on anything because you eat ice cream and as a ref as a result what happens maybe you will fall sick maybe you not fall sick so independent variable is eating ice cream and dependent variable is falling sick okay now with this we'll try to explain a little more detail now independent variable is manipulated to influence the dependent variable so an explanation to independent variable would be something like it's manipulated to influence the dependent variable whereas dependent variable relies on something else to occur. Maybe for a general understanding you can even explain like independent variable is the manipulator whereas the dependent variable is the result. Independent variable is the cause and dependent variable is the effect. Independent variable is the influencer and the dependent variable is the outcome. Okay, so based on this, uh, let's take the same example of eating ice cream making you falling sick. Now here we understand that the independent variable is something which is the manipulator or it is the cause or the influencer. Now eating ice cream is the cause or the influencer for the dependent variable, for the dependent action to happen that is falling sick. Now, there can even be other variables like falling sick or in turn leads to absentism. So, these are the other dependent variables. So, the independent variable is eating ice cream, whereas a dependent variable could be falling sick, absentism, not going to school, so all these things. So, in detail, I'm trying to take an example of uh, is some, something related uh, to um, goldfish and its speed of go free speed of growth. Okay, the statement is: How does the amount of sunlight affect the goldfish growth? I repeat the statement: How does the effect of sunlight amount of uh, how does the amount of sunlight affect the speed of goldfish growth? Okay, so. Uh, in order to do this particular experiment, you decide to test this by purchasing a small goldfish and placing it on a golden on a bowl, glass bowl, and placing them in rooms that receive various amount of sunlight. The length of the fish will be measured weekly for six months. Now I have three questions at the end. Now what is the independent variable here? What is the dependent variable here? And what are the, some constants for this experiment? I hope the 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 main story has been uh, clear to you. Now let's try to understand the independent variable first. Now the statement was how does the amount of sunlight affect the speed of goldfish growth or the growth of the goldfish. Now here we have uh, two different um, keywords the amount of sunlight and the speed of goldfish growth. Now 
we know that the independent variable is the cos or the influencer. Now here the cos is the amount of sunlight. The, the falling, the impact of the sunlight is the manipulator. So the independent variable is the amount of sunlight. Whereas the dependent variable is the result. Now dependent variable here is the speed. Now, if there is, we are, we, are, we, are, we are here to study that if more amount of sunlight uh, falls, does it really impact the speed of the goldfish or does it decrease the speed of the gold, uh, the, the, the retard the speed, uh, growth of the goldfish? Now, dependent variable is the speed of the goldfish growth. Now, here, uh, the third question comes, what things are to be kept constant? Now, when I say constant, which means like, in reverse of different experiments that is being done, you have to make sure that these things are to be kept constant, like the type of water. Now, if you change the pH of the water, if you change the type of water from the sea water to um, fresh water or to um, crystallized water, distilled water, maybe the, it might impact the growth. So we should make sure that the type of water is kept constant. And the size of the board, maybe when the, the fish is allowed to move across a little bit more, maybe that, that might impact on the growth. So you should keep the size of the bowl constant. And you should not, I mean, the type of food also should be kept constant as well as the amount of food given also should be kept constant because the type of the food and the amount of the food can result in the growth uh, or the speedy growth of the goldfish. So uh, we come to the answer like this, like the questions where what is the independent variable? Then the answer is that amount of sunlight is the independent variable, the amount of sunlight that is falling on the goldfish. Now, what is the dependent variable? The speed of the growth of the goldfish is the dependent variable. And what are the constants? The type of water, the size of the bowl, the type of food, and the amount of food is, are the constants. Okay, I hope it's clear now. Now, I'll have one more example so that you'll understand the concept of variables a little more clearly. Now, the question here is, or the statement is, does the type of shoes affect the speed of the athlete? You have an athlete. And athletes use three different types of shoes. Now, the first one is the high lace boots or the boots. The second one is the Nike uh, sports shoe with uh, spikes. And the last one is the third shoes is actually a slipper, is a Nike slipper. Now, uh, the question is, does the type of shoe affect the speed of the athlete? Here we have to understand uh, as, uh, in the, as in the previous example, what is the dependent variable, independent variable and the constants. Now here, uh, again, uh, when you read the statement, try to understand what are what is the manipulator or the cause or the influencer. Here the type of shoes is the influencer. So type of shoes is the independent variable. Now you have three types of shoes. That is the gum, the, the high, lace, high lace boots. The second shoes is the Nike sports shoe and the third one is the slipper. Now dependent variable is the time taken. This is the effect. What happens? This is to be measured. Now dependent variable is the time taken and you are supposed to measure uh, for each shoes, the, uh, maybe for 100 meters when you run for 100 meters with the first shoe, what is the amount of time taken? With the second Nike shoes, what is the amount of time taken? With the help of uh, third slipper, what is the amount of time taken? So that is the dependent variable. So dependent variable is being measured and the constants here are the weather because we have to ensure that it is uh, it is always uh, the same weather because in in rainy season or when in the when it is uh, tough terrain or uh, tough uh, weather it becomes difficult for the athlete or the speed varies the clothing now if he is wearing a sports gear then it it, it really accelerates his speed whereas if he is losing using loose clothes or if he's using very heavy, heavy um, suit kind of thing that becomes difficult. The surface, the terrain in which he is running, whether it is a, um, what do you say, a turf or whether it is a sports track, all these have to be kept constant. So the constant should be the weather, the surface and the clothing. Now, we'll summarize what is variable, what we learned till now. So here in this webinar, we were discussing on the variables and the types of variables. So we have basically two types of variables that is dependent and the independent variable. Now independent variable is manipulated to influence the dependent variable 
whereas dependent variable relies on something else to occur. So it is the independent variable is the manipulator, the cause or the influencer. The dependent variable is the result, the effect or the outcome. So in short, a variable is something that changes. Okay. So I hope you understand the basics of variables. Now, uh, the hypothesis testing and the basics or the highest, uh, higher classes, highest uh, topics of hypothesis roots from this basic concept called variable. So happy learning. This is Jitin. Thank you.